Hi, my name is Cameron Kramer with Labyrinth Gaming, um, and I'm here to give you my cool Fluanderese deck profile that I won this beautiful map on this weekend. So uh, I'm, I'll go through the cards if you like, and but I'm not really going to explain too much what they do. I think anybody playing Yu-Gi-Oh should kind of know what this deck does at this point. So three Rabina, this uh, card is your entire combo. Uh, three Eagle. For those of you in, unfamiliar about the deck, this is typically the choke point. It searches your big birds. If they don't, uh, if you don't already have one in hand, you kind of get stranded. Uh, play two ostrich. Uh, Didi Crow, but not a crow. He's an ostrich. <laughs> uh, yeah, this card's really good, um, especially because sometimes you can search him with Robina on your opponent's turn to normal and then get rid of their you know, DP or whatever. Uh, one two can gets you a banished one back. Uh, he's okay. Um, but he has cool implications with the map. Uh, for big birds, two and pen. This is like my favorite card right now. It's really good. Uh, he's skill drain except better because he prevents your opponent from activating the card. Um, one apex avian. This card's really really good, especially against like heavy back row matchup. Uh, and then one Ryza, the um, only good recently. <laughs> Uh, then, like, the other monsters I played were obviously the Barrier Statue, Floodgates are cool, uh, one DD Crow, uh, you can search it with Robina on your opponent's turn, um, and in some matchups it's very, very, very strong. And then the God card. Uh, this card just, like, wins you the game if you draw it for the most part. Um, I had to play on hard mode, though, because I only saw it, like, twice. Ah. Then two spells. Three map. This card's crazy. Uh, the what I was talking about with two can is uh, if you like have two can, you can use this to get other spell traps in rotation rather than um, you know getting other birds. Uh, that is really helpful later in the game uh, when you like are already playing and you just kind of want to see other cards. Uh, but yeah, you pretty much always want to see that. A little flip. Uh, then the new card, Advent of Adventure. This card is really, really cool. Um, so obviously the main use of it is to dodge Valor or Imperm. Um, but this card is also just insane in general because it's chainable. Uh, Lancia is everywhere in this format. So you can chain this to Lancia. You can chain this to Droll. Um, and it helps you give like a, get a little leg up on those two cards, which are typically pretty, bad, or pretty good against this deck. Uh, then we played the Unexplored Winds. Uh, this is your win condition against back row, like Elwich and stuff like that. Um, these cards, really good, uh, really expensive, uh, but worth it. I, I mean, you know, <laughs> it depends on your personal opinion on card games and stuff like that. But uh, I do not think that Extrav is a good replacement because this card is just 20 times better in this deck than Extrav. Um, I guess if you can't afford this, like, go for it. But this is, like, I can't stress that enough. Please, if you can play Prosperity, play Prosperity. Uh, this is, I, I joke and say that this is, like, the best two-card combo in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm still on Book of Moon. I think it's really, really good. It's great going second. Um, it kind of blanks and negate. And a lot of the boards now in this format, um, especially like Sword Soul Board or whatever. Uh, if you have an answer to the Baron, you can you can play. This also is a good answer to Griffin, um, and you uh, chain it in response. Uh, and along with that, I play three Raigeki in the main deck. Um, I think this deck has a hard time going second, and uh, there's like enough room to play a three of Blowout card. Uh, this was my slot for Ash Blossom. However, I think Ash Blossom is uh, not as impactful as Raigeki can be. Um, and if I'm also not playing any other hand traps besides the one of Didi Crow, uh, I think this is serviceable. Um, it came up a lot, you know, losing the die roll sucks with this deck. So having a Raigeki to either bait their negate or, you know, blow them out of the water, um, I think it's really good. Like for, for instance, in the final round, um, I was playing against uh, a friend of mine and uh, I drew Book of Moon Raigeki for his Book his Baron, Raigeki is born. It's just game after that. Uh, and then, you know, 1-0's Terraforming. 
called by the grave. Uh, you don't like hand traps. You want to see your field spell. Uh, sometimes I side this out if I kind of think my opponent's going to side in drolls. Um, and then the Dreaming Town. This card's crazy. Uh, our turn. Not, not your turn. Our turn. Oh, also the Book of Eclipse effect is really good too. A lot of people forget about that. Um, extra deck does not really matter. I, I think I went into the extra deck once yesterday. Um, but this is the Merry Christmas package. Uh, this is the only relevant package in the extra deck. Uh, Zeus is cool. The card's really, really good. Um, these are like links that you can make, but I don't know. You're rarely ever going to make them. This also uh, doubles as like if they Maximus you, you can send this to search a thing. Um, and then, this is a spoiler, uh, I have four cherries targets. Uh, I'm playing cherries in the side deck. Uh, DPE, Seals, um, Rusty, and Shishao. I think they're all really good to, to cherries your opponent. Um, if you cherries this, the dragon like kind of like can't really play because that's like what they do now um i kind of i guess like my locals was it's pretty sky striker heavy i could have put a kagari in here but this is like essentially a strike a sky striker hit anyway and then side deck uh, three ash in the side i put this in in matchups where it is more impactful um three cherries in the side uh you know it's kind of a blowout going second um Three of the Harpies Featherstorm. This card is unbelievable. If going first, if you flip this, it basically just turn skips your opponent. Um, it also buys you more time. Uh, people love to hand trap you when you're playing Flunderies and they side hand traps in like Droll and stuff. So if you normal Eagle, they stop you, you set this, you're pretty much gonna get another turn. Um, and then I sided three Cosmic Cyclone and a Harpy's Feather Duster for back row matchups. Uh, Dark Samorg for back row matchups going first. Uh, if they can't set, they can't play. Um, and then I do side one of the Scary Seas. Uh, I don't side this in all the time, but I think this is really, really good against Sword Soul. Uh, you negate their summon and then uh, they can't special for the rest of the turn, but they can normal three times. It's like, who cares? It, you're not making Hockey Five Racks, so whatever. <laughs> uh, and that's my deck. Um, yeah, shout out Labyrinth Gaming, um, and shout out definitely maybe a podcast. We're on Spotify. Give us a listen. Uh, but that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching.